when I pull off at these truck stops, I have the option of going to the Flying J, the Travel Center, the Loves, and I always pick the Loves. And there's a couple of reasons for that, I think. One being primarily that they got 24-hour Arby's up and down the Central Valley here along the 99. And uh, several of these Loves here along the 99 are also brand new. So it's really nice, clean, nice spots, something you know that you like to eat, good safe place to park up. I'm here in Ripon right now, moving over toward the town of Tourlock. Kind of a uneventful day, just kind of hanging out, taking in a chill, easy morning, starbucking it up as I've been doing the last couple days, just kind of returning to a bit of normalcy. And I find myself hanging a lot in the Tracy area and I forgot what Tracy was like at least weather wise because while all these Central Valley towns get quite warm it's been in the 90s the last couple of days the one thing that Tracy has and the surrounding communities Lathrop, Manteca, what have you anything along or near the Sacramento River Delta really gets the benefit of that cool Delta breeze that likes to blow. Right now it's blowing right through my window. And even if it's 90 degrees in the middle of the day, come sundown, that wind starts whipping up off the Delta and it really cools things down. And I really like that. I'm heading back toward Fresno, slowly making my way south. Um, parents are taking off doing a little San Francisco weekend probably going to a Giants game or something like that and of course I just popped in on my way to my buddies in Turlock to get me some Arby's all right I made it to Turlock to my buddy Ryan's house my buddy Vic's house and my good dear friend Bill's house, the Toth family. Got my nice little parking spot, fit perfectly right alongside their house. No bother to anyone, no fuss, no muss. I don't know what we're gonna get into today. You never know with Ryan. We might end up going to a cool park, which we tend to do, hang out, have a great conversation. That's guaranteed. And, you know, I feel a little bit bad. I mentioned to Ryan that I was at Arby's and uh, I took off and he texted me back like, hey, pick me up a bag of them beef and cheddars because we don't have any Arby's out here in Turlock and it's been a long time since his dad has had some. And I said, well, next time, I'm always hitting up an Arby's on either end of coming in or out of Turlock. So <laughs> definitely gonna buy a big old bag of beef and cheddars next time I'm passing through town. For now, just gonna hang out. Take it easy, have a nice relaxing afternoon. The weather's nice, clear blue skies. What more could you ask for out of life, huh? Well, I'm actually gonna open up these windows here because it is a little bit warm when the sun's sitting here. Pop that guy open. I have to say, cutting this piece out on the window shade here, really beneficial. The last few nights parked up in, uh, and around Tracy, a little bit of airflow coming in through there. Just the wind whipping right through that little air gap really makes a huge difference. It's like having a giant fan at the back of my van. Things to think about. Well, Ryan said he wants to get out of the house today and I don't blame him because what a beautiful day it is. So I cleared off my front seat, got a passenger for the ride. We're going out to, uh, where are we going to go? Turlock Lake. Turlock All right. Lake. Turlock Lake Reservoir. We've been there before, uh, I don't know, months ago when I was out here visiting. Yeah, we cooked some food. We got uh, told we're not supposed to cook food. Oh, yeah, that's right. They told us we can't barbecue in the barbecues. Yep. That's we not flew, the drone. flew the drone. That was drone. a good day. It so was a good day. We chased swans. We're going to go pick up some snacks, of course, when you're going out town on a little day use adventure. Definitely want to have some snacks, some cold drinks, some ice. Um, 
Probably want to figure out where you put your keys. Gotta have those. Gotta have those, and we're heading on out. Woohoo! Let's do it. We made it to Turlock Lake, and Ryan and I have been having a bit of an internal debate here in the van as to who can remember how much it costs to get in here. I thought it was like 10 bucks. It's 12 bucks. Ryan says it's 12 bucks. Let's see what it says here. Ryan is the winner. Yep. Twelve dollars per vehicle. Right. Per vehicle, day use fee. Little pricey. I get to, I get to pay since I win. Yeah, that's the prize you get. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> The prize in this van is you get to pay. So how does this work? There's like a... There should be an envelope somewhere, or you just pop the money in there, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then we're good. All right. You saw it here, people. We paid our you fee. You are such a gentleman because you always pay your fee, and you could definitely get away without paying here. It would not be hard. Well, I've been kicked out of places for not paying. So. Really? Yeah, I'm, I learned my lesson. I always pay, but only because I didn't have like $5. I'm carrying around $12. Yeah, yeah, and, you know who does that? Like, yeah, we stopped purposely to get change to pay it because he swore it was $12 and that would be a weird amount. No, I, I mean, a 20 on me maybe. But. Yeah, but the funny thing is in today's world, like you're not even, Supposed to pay cash anywhere nowadays. Oh, they should have like a, a, yeah. a thing card reader. The government's always the last one to get behind all the regulations it's trying to impose. This is great. <laughs> Here we are. We got the whole place to ourselves once again. Beautiful. I love it. Last time I tried to pull right into the spot that said no parking. <laughs> like it matters, right? Maduritos. <laughs> Ryan's feeding uh, the geese plantains. Apparently, they love them. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! I'll give him a couple more here. That's funny. Well, geese. Yeah. Hey, little guys. How you doing? Little dinosaurs. Little dinosaurs. Hey, little baby dinos. How you doing? Windy out here, huh? Yeah, little dinosaurs. Hi, dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, that guy's bicycling. What's he doing out here? Hey, what are you doing out here? <laughs> what a beautiful day, man. This breeze is so nice. Cooled everything down. Enjoying the place to ourselves. <laughs> Look at this. What a beautiful hair day I'm having, huh? <laughs> it's, working. it's working for you. My good friend Victor presented me with this beautiful shirt. Thank you very much. It was my birthday a little while back, and he has a very good and thoughtful sense of humor. Of course, it's the infamous Chris Farley scene. <laughs> Living in a van down by the river. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. That's hilarious. I can't wait to grow into this 3XL. <laughs> <laughs> Brian says this is sweet gum. I believe it's a sweet gum tree. I was just reading about these, the spiky balls. Spiky, spiky balls. Ball, spiky ball tree. Let's put it up, see there was something wrong with We got the old boat launch here. Pretty cool. Yeah. Walking out on it here. And they got the new boat launch just over here. They got some jet skiers out there. Turlock Lake. Nobody else here. So if you're into jet skiing or boating for that matter. So how would this work back in the day? Pretty much all to yourself. I guess you would back up here, come along bring your boat right into the water like you would normally except it was very narrow yeah um 
vehicles were very narrow back then, right? I guess so. Whenever then was. No one knows yeah, when then 1850 was. 1850s, <laughs> that's what we're going with. But look at this goes <laughs> this goes down there into the water. As far as you can see. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. Good. That is a little bit chilly willy. Is it really? <laughs> On the tippy toes. How cold is it? <laughs> nice. I mean it's not freezing cold, but it's not warm either. I immediately regret this decision. Luck Lake, a Central Valley story. Here we are. Here it is. It's windy. Although the Turlock Irrigation District was formed in 1887, at the turn of the 20th century, most ranchers in this area could still only dream of irrigation. While a torrent in the <laughs> Turlock Lake, one of the state parks, first leased it from the irrigation district today here it is turlock lake put your butt here pontukulo a key Cruising back into Turlock on, what are we on, gear? Yeah. Santa Fe. Well, Santa Fe is named that, of course, after the Santa Fe train. And here we are right on these train tracks that run right north of the town, going south along the 99. And I spotted this out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what the heck is going on over here? They got like a memorialized engine car all fenced off over here. It says this area is under 24 hour video surveillance, so well, I'm sure it is. Is that thing on? Yeah, it's running. It's running. Yeah. And it's charging up just for us. I told you it was angry. That's super weird. I don't know. I thought it was just sitting here like a normal, like memorialized thing, but it's on. It's yeah. running. 